Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So, some people have had some issues with getting stable diffusion to work on AMD GPUs, and today is going to be a super quick way for some people who have had some issues to potentially just kind of make it work. Uh, for folks who are all into getting deep into command line and things like that, this might not be the solution that you really want to use. It is not going to be the fastest in the world, but it is going to kind of, you know, just work. So with that, let's take a look at Amuse. This is a very easy installation, one step, just click and download, and it just kind of goes for you. So one quick note about Amuse is you'll see here that it has NPU support. So for those who have a Ryzen AI chip, the, the Ryzen AI or AI Max, you have what's called a neural processing unit, which is this NPU. So a Muse should be able to work properly and do stable diffusion images. Now with that, it's going to depend on how much RAM you have installed. So the more RAM you have, the bigger models you'll be able to support with your NPU. Besides all of that, if we go down through here, we will see that the recommended specs are a 9000 or a 7000 series graphics cards. Now I have seen things saying that some 6000 series cards do seem to work. So you can always give this a try for yourself. And because it's so simple to just install and run, you know, it really won't take very long to figure out if it will or will not work. Now, being that this is a out of the box solution, if it works, great. And if it doesn't, there's probably not a lot you can do to get it to work. So all you have to do is come over to amuse-ai.com. Click on the download button, go ahead, download it. And then once you do, you will end up with something that looks like this. So when you open up Amuse for the very first time, I am pretty sure you will need to download some sort of model most likely. I've already downloaded several models, so here's what it kind of looks like. This is the easy mode. You can just give it a positive prompt, decide whether you want to do image or video, and click the Generate Images button. Now with that being said, you can move over to Expert Mode. And once you are inside of expert mode, you will have a handful of different things to look at. You can do image generation, video generation, or look at the model manager up at the top. On the left hand side, you'll see things like text to image, image to image, paint to image, image in paint, upscaler, and feature extractor. You will also see a bit of system information showing the amount of RAM that's being used by your system the amount of VRAM being used by your video card, assuming that you have one. And it seems to show multiple video cards. You can see in this one, I also have a, uh, a integrated graphics on my Ryzen uh, CPU, but it, it will show you this one, although there's no VRAM associated with it. So that's why it kind of looks like that. And in order to install models, you will come up to the model manager. You can pick a model that you like. Uh, we'll just do, I don't know. We'll just do SDXL Turbo. In order to install the model, you first must download it, accept the terms and conditions, and then with the models, some other things to pay attention to is it will tell you roughly the amount of memory in VRAM that it will take. If you're using a neural processing unit that is attached to your CPU, I would be willing to bet that it will require this amount in actual RAM since you don't have VRAM with an NPU. Uh, it will also tell you the amount of size on disk. So this is the amount of disk space that you will need. So once you have a model and click the download, 
it seems to automatically install it as well. So there's no need to press the install button because it went through and automatically did this. All I did was download it. With that, we will move back over to image generation. Go ahead, choose a model that you like from up here. Click the load button and then put in a prompt, put in a negative prompt. If you want, fiddle around with the scheduler, set up the resolution. If you wanna choose a seed for some reason, you can also uh, change the number of steps, move the guidance scale to whatever you want and just hit the generate button. You'll see that on my 7900X, X, XT, uh, the 20 gig AMD card, I was getting 4.06 iterations per second. So not amazing, not terrible. And then for video generation, you just move over to video generation. You will of course need to have models loaded up for doing video, but it is really the exact same process. Just load a model in, set up your prompt, go through the scheduler, the resolution, and go ahead and seeds, keyframes, noise repeat. You can fiddle around with all this stuff until you kind of get it the way you like. But this is how this is how simple it is to uh, generate stable diffusion images and videos in Amuse. Thank you everyone so much for watching. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, just like all other YouTube channels. Liking and subscribing does help the channel. I know it's been quite a while, but I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos and a lot more that are more technically complex than this one. So with that, if you're at all interested, make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.